Hi, I'm Roger Bindle. I'm at the Farmery in Green Bay with Claire Thompson today and learning a little bit about what they're doing with a community-based aquaponics system in the middle of Green Bay. So maybe tell us a little bit about the Farmery. The Farmery is an indoor urban farm right here, like you said, located in downtown Green Bay in the Navarino neighborhood. Uh, we're very proud of being right in the middle of a residential neighborhood where a lot of our volunteers are from. Our purpose is really to build economic self-sufficiency, improve the health and well-being, and provide educational opportunities in sustainable agriculture and STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, uh, to students and individuals in the greater Green Bay area of all ages and abilities. So our farm is the way that we get that done. And maybe give a brief, what is aquaponics for people that don't know? Aquaponics is the marriage of fish and plants uh, together. It's a full system ecosystem uh, that brings hydroponics with aquaponics. Aquaponics is the farming of fish. Hydroponics is the farming of plants in a water-based solution. The fish provide the nutrients for the plants. The plants clean the water for the fish. So it's a beautiful system. And I understand that you're going for perch. Yeah, we so, are. So why perch? I know it's a difficult fish to raise. It's delicious. People love it. We love it. We want to eat it. And um, we don't have a lot of it growing commercially. There's not very many commercial uh, perch fishing going on in Bay of Green Bay or in Lake Michigan. The ecology of the lake has changed quite a bit. The populations have plummeted and there's just not a lot of commercial fishing of perch happening right now. So it all needs to be imported. And we would like to be able to reintroduce the idea of people growing their own food. In this case, it would be fish right here in Wisconsin and giving the opportunity for farmers who are currently growing fish to possibly adopt yellow perch as a species. And we would like to be able to provide a species locally here that people are interested in eating. There's a huge demand for perch, and we believe that if we can figure out how to hatch perch, grow them into fingerlings, and get them out to prospective farmers, that they will want to grow them, and there will be a very high demand to buy them. And I understand that's a tricky part, yeah. hatching them. That's right, yeah. And fortunately, we have a, f a relationship with the UW Green Bay, um, where they got a grant, and we were able to hire associate researcher Ken Webb to be our fish guy here on staff, and he's gonna be helping us set up our protocols for rearing and hatching out perch, yellow perch in our facility here. Okay, and I know you're a fairly small facility right now, getting ready to expand and everything, so what are your plans over the next year? Uh, what will be different if I come back in a year from today? Hopefully a lot. Hopefully we'll have grown quite a bit. Uh, we're still working our proof of concept aquaponic system where we learned our business. And we built this system about three years ago with the help of volunteers, an entirely volunteer driven effort. And we learned how to grow plants and fish in an aquaponics environment indoors. And we're going to apply the learning from that to our expansion, uh, which is going to be coming up Later on in 2019, we intend to expand our aquaponics unit into a much larger room here in the, in the lower level of the farmery, for which we're conducting a pretty major fundraising campaign. We're going to be expanding our aquaponics unit, as well as building out our fish hatchery, so we'll be able to grow a lot more fish and a lot more produce. Well, I find it rather intriguing, the fact that you've got this system right in the middle of Green Bay, and uh, hopefully I'll get back in, uh, in a year and we'll maybe have a feast of uh, perch. Well, I would hope so, and there was a very strategic reason for putting it right in Green Bay. It would, be, it would have been more affordable for us to be able to put this on the outskirts of town, where most farms might be located. But we decided that because this is a community-based effort, we wanted to be right in a residential neighborhood where people could walk here if they wanted to get some volunteer experience or work history, that they could walk here, take a bus or bike ride right to our facility right here downtown, and we can be right in the thick of it and show people how to grow local nutritious food right here in the city. Well, I appreciate your time, Claire, and thank, thank you. you very much.